All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of Valhelzia 3. Guys, today we're back at the uh, starter base area. We haven't been here in a bit, uh, but all of our Batania stuff is over here. And then we have a glitching um, glitching guy. He seems to disappear. So, uh, yeah, so I got this, some mana set up here. Uh, the goal of today, guys, is to go ahead and get this Rod of the Shifting Crust. Now, this will allow us to swap things out like uh, like a big wall of of stone for a big wall of marble bricks so we're gonna be working on that today now the first thing we need to go ahead and do is make this pedestal thing loving loving all right so we do have quite a bit of it here actually not a whole lot we might need more all right so we have our first mana pearl perfect all right we're gonna come here like so yes runic altar very cool Okay, we'll just make the front area here our thingy. Okay, so let's see if we can make this work. Now, I don't know. Actually, we might need to put that a little bit closer to our mana pool. Because I think we might have to link these together. So we're just going to put that guy there. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's just check the book. Okay, so I think all we have to do is start making this rune of air. We're going to make two of these. Uh, so we need some carpet. All right. Perfect. Going to need some string and some iron and some this. That was redstone. Okay, and then a feather. We got quite a few feathers. Perfect. All right, so let's see. Let's see if this works. All right, so for one, we got to make some mana steel. Okay, that ain't doing what I thought it would. How do we get the mana stuff? Um, it's got to take this bottom guy out. Yeah. Okay. So alchemical catalyst allows us... We might just set up another one of these a little bit further away eventually. Uh, but now I believe we have everything. So we just had a... Yep, we just got to right-click it. Perfect. And then click that. And then we need string. All right. So boom, boom, boom. Right. One, two, three, four, five. One. How did a golden carrot get there? Yes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what are we missing? String. Nope, got string. Carpet. Oh, we didn't use the carpet. All right, so we don't have enough mana for it. Let's go ahead and grab it, our Botania thing. Our wand here, wand of the forest. Let's go ahead and bind the two together. Okay, so look, you can see that it actually is charging it up over there on the right. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Quite a lot of man in here. I don't know if we can spread that out. I think we just got to let it cook up. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. We got two of them. Perfect. So we had to throw that on top of it and then smack it. Very, very cool. So we're going to make the Rune of Fire next. We need to get some Nether Wart. All right. We don't have Nether Wart, do we? We can throw Blaze Rods in there. Very cool. All right. All right. 
All right, so nether wart, that thing, that thing, nether brick, and gunpowder. Okay, gunpowder. And nether brick. Perfect. All right, click you in. Click you in. Click you in. All right, that's going to go ahead and start to charge up. All right, there we go. All we need to do is then toss this guy here. Booyah. Got some fire boys. Okay, so then we need this guy, which requires one of each of those. Some leaves and a spider eye. Huh, I don't have any leaves. All right, got some leaves here. So we got the three that we needed. All right, so we just go one, two, three. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, so that one's gonna charge up. Look like Looks like it's taking just a little bit longer, but it should take no time at all. And then after that, we need to make the Rune of Sloth, which requires the autumn one and then an air one. Perfect, we have all of them. And then do we have the living wood? If not, we need to go ahead and make some. We do. I believe it was just two, right? Yeah. And then just some stone. All right, this is almost done. Oh, and we got to keep those. That's awesome. And then two mana diamonds. Huh, I wonder if we have enough diamonds. Nope. All right, now this guy's got to charge up. Ooh, that is taking a hot minute. Cool. I'm going to let this charge up, and we'll be right back. All right, so we just got done. Let's go ahead, give this a toss. And there we go. All right. Booyah. All right, let's see how this thing works. So we're going to get a bunch of marble. All right. Okay, yeah, that freaked me out. Okay, so we we, we shift right click on the block that we want to do. Yep, as you can see there. Um, and then let's let's test this out in the new base area. Okay, we might need to have some type of mana tablet. Um, let's go over here, grab our lexica again. 
Okay. Mana spreader, mana pool. Nope. Okay, here we go. Rod of the Shifting Crest. Rod of the Shifting Crest is a magical device with the ability to swap blocks in the world at very high speeds. To set up the, the rod right, sneak click on the block to stuck out the block selected. Punching any other block in the world with the rod will use the mana. M use mana to swap it. Assuming the ladder is present in the user's inventory, right clicking the block in the world will perform a larger transformation, swapping all the highlighted blocks. Okay. Um, so, mana. Okay, so we need a ring of some sort, right? To hold our mana. Hold up. Band of mana. We're going to make this. Yeah, that's definitely what we need to make. So let's see here. Okay, we need to head back to the normal base. Okay, I need to grab some stone. Whoopsie. Okay. Now we're going to need to make another mana diamond, too. I see you over there. Like third, so weird. I don't know what's going on. All right, so with that all done, let's go ahead and make a mana tablet. Oh, okay, that did work. All right, band of mana. I'm pretty sure we just tossed this in. Nope, that didn't work. That give us... All right, so let's do some research. Control. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, putting a mana tablet on a mana steel ring makes the tablet wearable. The band of mana functions exactly as the component the tablet does, but it can be worn as a trinket as well. Creating a ring by plating it with an ingot of terra steel allows it to store about four times more mana. All right, so the mana tablet. Using mana spreaders to transport mana is very well and good. 
Taking stuff around too. The mana tablet is a portable item that can carry mana within itself. In addition, other items in the inventory can draw from it for their own use, making it an essential tool. Tossing a tablet into a mana pool will allow the flow of mana between them. Sneak right clicking or using a dispenser on a mana pool with the wand of the forest will change the way the mana will flow. Unlike normal items, drop tablets never despawn. Okie dokie. So, let us grab our wand. Bippity boppity shut up. Okay. So. Oh, that was, that did, that did pick up some mana. Look at that. All right, check out all that mana we got in there. Very cool. So if we go like this. Oh, shoot. What did I just do? Hold up. Can you see it on us now? Nah, not really. Okay. So we have the mana tablet now. Let's go back to the new base. This will be awesome because what we can actually do, guys, is build a structure out of cobblestone and then go in and replace the certain blocks that we want with the blocks that we want to replace them with, obviously. Okay. All right, so we're replacing that. <gasps> it works! Now, it's not nearly as, well, it's it's very good. Uh, I should be able to just go like that. Yeah. So the only issue I can see with it is, you see how it goes down and around? I don't like that. So what we might actually have to do is say build a little thing. No, nah, because it still goes across. Okay. So our main, yeah, you can just hold it down basically. Run around with it. Look at that. We already replaced everything. Pair this up with the magnet on our boots. Well, look at that. But the cool thing is we come here to the wall, let's lay it, say like this, and just completely swap out the wall. And that's what our main focus of this is. So let's head on back to the new base here. Um, the marble, we're good for now. But we're going to go ahead. The cool thing is we can test this out. See if we like what, like it or not. Stuff like that. We're going to put a whole bunch of that in there. Hopefully we don't use all of our mana. We are. I am going to set up a mana farm over here as well. One that's probably a little bit better. Uh, so that should make a big difference. Um, but what we need to do. Let's do one of these. Right click it. Pick it up. And we can see how much mana we have. Look at that, we, we replaced that entire wall, or most of this entire wall. <laughs> oh my gosh, it works falling. Oh man, I love this tool. Look at that, guys, it's already swapped. Ah, oh, now I'm not, I'm not going to uh, make it all look like this, but you get the idea, right? Then we can just go.
Now, I do wish I could control it a little easier, uh, but it still gets the job done. I wish you could adjust it so that it was... And it doesn't take any durability, so we don't need to make this anymore. It just uses the mana. This is going to be a very valuable tool. Oh, man, I'm so excited. So excited. All right, guys, so that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode. Uh, we did a lot with Botania today, and I'm very excited about that. Um, and this room will also look good. I'll go ahead and work on it off camera to go ahead. I don't think we're going to go with this design um, or just stone brick going all the way down. We might end up swapping it out. I hope we, I do anyway. Uh, I'm going to be aiming for that. Uh, probably going to be going a little bit more with the cyan terracotta and gray concrete again. Uh, we'll, I'll figure out what I do off camera. But stay tuned for next episode, guys, as we're going to be working on uh, power storage because that is something we have severely lacked this season um, of this mod pack. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been your friendly neighborhood Super Turtle. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out.